Hello, my name is Alex Racknader. I'm entering my fifth year as a PhD student in Dr. Monson's research group in the Davidson School of Chemical Engineering. And I'll be providing a virtual lab tour of the Manufacturing Design Laboratory in the Polymer Composites Research Area. The MD Lab is uniquely positioned to address the high-rate composites manufacturing bottlenecks that have restricted composites from being widely adopted in the automotive industry. We have a fully flexible manufacturing chain allowing for any resin or fiber to be converted via selected preforms to custom design parts. Our research focuses on integrating next generation composites manufacturing approaches with a full scale industry 4.0 digital manufacturing testbed. I will show you two process lines that highlight our ability to be a turnkey operation for advanced thermoplastic composites manufacturing. First, we make thermoplastic pre preg tape where we take any dry fibers, shown here are Kevlar fibers. These fibers are sent to the fixed bar spreader where the fibers are collimated and form a web with uniform thickness where it is sent into the impregnation dye. This dye is fed with molten thermoplastic resin which is metered by a melt pump. The resin is pumped into the fiber bed using the wave plate design. Here you can see the prepreg tape exiting the impregnation die. The tape is sent through a series of consolidation rollers to compact and cool the tape. The whole line is driven by a belt puller. The tape is wound onto a roll for use in other processes in the MD lab. Here is a finished roll of material. The prepreg tape is used elsewhere in the MD lab. One such example is the Keytex cell, which creates composite preforms for hybrid molded parts. The prepreg tape is sent into an IR oven to consolidate the tapes into a single toe. The toe is formed into a skeleton structure which is capable of efficiently distributing the loads in the final part. The forming process utilizes a three-axis head and three-axis table to form complex 3D preforms. This process is fully automated. A robot picks up the preform from the jig and places a new set of bushings for the next cycle. The preform is transferred over to an injection molder for hybrid overmolding. This breadth of equipment and automation allows the MD lab to be a fully functional composites testbed that can start with any dry fiber or resin and produce a custom designed part. Once the hybrid molding cycle finishes, the robot removes the final part and places a new preform for the next cycle. The hybrid molded part is scanned to check for dimensional stability, shown here. And here you can see a side-by-side -side example of the preform and hybrid molded part. 